Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today, we will be making a procedural table directly here in Blender 2.92. So this is a video I promised you guys earlier. Let's take a look at what we will be making. As you know, you'll be able to control the top, the length, you'll also be able to control the width and also the height. If you would like to make table scales, you can also do that. And we're going to go through and take a look at how this can be easily made. I'll try as much as possible to make this very painless as this is, you know, it's, it's very, it's very easy actually. So let's get a brand new version or, you know, get a brand new scene. So we're going to start out with a cube. This cube is the bread, butter and milk of everything we're going to do. So from the last time we talked about the geometry node, a couple of updates are here. One of the updates is it's no longer called nodes. If you go over to your modifiers, it is now called empty so with that empty there we can start off by doing some stuff the first thing i would like to do is throw in the transform since we would like to make multiple copies i think it's best to actually start transforming things from the beginning now what is the idea behind here the idea here is we have tables and tables have four legs and these four legs are attached to several corners of the you know the first platform which is the tabletop and once you start moving things around it is just essential that those parts actually stick and move all right so how do we do this we would first of all deal with the scaling so let's get the appropriate scale and for this we need a vector node the reason why we need a vector node is um, it has a couple of mathematical functions in there so things like you know multiply divide add, subtract, all of that stuff, but we're going to use the word scale. And for this scale, if we go ahead and dial one by one by one, we have what we want, but then we still don't have access to controlling everything like we, you know, like we would want. But then we can also choose to just set this as simple as it is. So maybe we can set this to 0 0.5, or maybe we can make this 0 point, you know, 0 0.2, and we'll get into how you can control several parts later. Another thing which we would like to do now is since we have defined this, all right, you can see how simple this is. It's, it's nothing complicated. We just have transform, scale, output, simple. Next thing which we would like to do is to add another transform. So let's have another transform. Oh, you know, we should have actually copied that one, but let's just do it. So this other transform now is going to be for, you know, it's going to be for the legs. All right, it's going to be for the legs. And what do we need? Same thing vector we need a vector but this time we want this vector to control the translation okay and we don't see anything here because we don't have them merged together to be visible so we can only see one thing at the time this or this so we explained that with a boolean node you can do some stuff but since the last time we had that conversation there is a join geometry node that has been attached all right so right now you can now join multiple geometries at the same time and get and get the best out of it all right next thing which we would like to do is we don't want to add things maybe we would subtract i think subtract is best so you can now subtract things and what we want to subtract is we want to subtract from various points all right and to actually drive that subtraction i think it's best to drive it by whatever value that we have here so we can go in and do that value of one by one you know by 0 0.2 okay so let's do that at 0 0.2 and at this point yeah it, it looks good you know we, we like it but it's not procedural enough because the idea is have one particular node control these things so what do we do we bring in a combine all right so you bring in this combine this bad boy combine connect that there connect this here and so you have one node that controls the both of them. And what values did we give the last time? We gave 1.1.0.2. I think that was what we did, was it? Yeah, okay. So we have that there. So let's just review what we did. Transform, transform, subtract, scale. Use this node to control whatever value you have here and whatever value you had here. See how easy that is. Extremely, extremely easy, okay? So another thing which we would like to do is we don't like this, you know, it's too big, it's way too big. And because your tables basically have almost the same sizes when it has to do with the legs. So we would also make that change. And since this is X, Y, and Z, what we would like to do is we might just simply make this a value that is fine. So let's make this 0.5 by 0.5, doesn't look bad. 
and then we can set this to one what do we have all right so maybe we can do that at 0 0.2 by 0 0.2 so 0 0.2 might be cool aha uh -huh. all right that's it it's coming together that's cool all right so we have that there so it's now down so for the legs for the size let's also make that change we would set this to the one tenth because this is the cube is way too big so we'll make that 0 0.1 0 0.1 and that's easy so at this point you actually don't need to do any other thing i mean your table is ready you can now you can now go home tutorial is finished watch an ad do something because at any point in time now you start moving this you notice that this is moving all right we're also going to tackle anything that has to do with negative sign you know no negativity allowed all right so we're just going to tackle anything that has to do with negative sign and this is because there is a range manager that you can also use for your inputs all right so we can do all of that and let's take a preview so at this point you can also do things like this you see tutorial is is done it's done it's done okay so the next thing which we can do is to make a couple of these things so how do we make these things of course someone in the comment section is going to be like add some transforms you're smart and yeah you can add some transforms add some joints yeah we can add some joints and we can lock that there connect this one right over here and connect this one right over here but the problem here is that if you choose to rotate these by 90 degrees you get to see this okay and once you rotate that by 90 degrees and you start doing things like this hoo -hoo, table gun bonkers okay this 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 is not nice i mean it's not nice for business so what do we need to do take this out because already and mathematically or you know 3d kali once you do a minus one in any axis it transforms the hell out of that object and gives you this all right so once you have that now you can now go ahead and do things like so so this is beautiful yes so with this it is now even easier easier to just actually we don't even need to do any of that so let's select one select the second one hit the control c baby and hit control v and once you do that connect to one here and connect the other one here and then what else do you want to do with your life right now connect this one right there and that's that's simple <laughs> it's not that simple because you know you don't see that but if you look at this you will know that the next we not we had to do or we have to do is put the minus one sign and that's it table done bye bye see you later but but wait just wait wait a minute wait a minute before you click out you can see we have this and we have this beautiful table and we love this beautiful table but we want the parameters here we don't want to come back to the nodes all the time to actually dial things up and we don't want to screw things all right this is not what this is not who we are this is not what we want okay all right so we have this node here that controls the scale of the top which is fair we have this node here that controls you know that uh -huh, and this one but we would like this to be controlled right here so what we can do is very simple i'm just going to go back set this one by one and yeah we can set this uh whatever it is we can set it at that and then if we come down here we can wire the first one actually that's not wire that we can wire this first one right here and this would expose that parameter for us can you see that so we can do that for this other one and exposes that parameter and you can actually add like two three and connect these to those you know you can see you're connecting that and they just lean lean so how, how do you troubleshoot this actually a lot of people don't understand this so i'm also going to explain to you it's as simple as selecting this this is the default value you need so i'm setting this at 0 0.9 as the minimum value that we can ever need and this as the maximum value and let's actually rename this let's give it a descriptive name all right that makes sense and for this one what are we having here for this one we don't have any value going on there because by default this should be set to one and by default this other one should be set to one and by default this other one should be set to one so 
they don't have any definite value going for them and we have to add those values by ourselves click on this button define a value click on the next button define a value so we can set this uh, value as let's say minus or one and we can make this 10 can do the same thing here minus let's do that here minus one and we can set the same thing here as 10 so let's grab that there and so what do we have going so we have this object controlling one two and three and if we go over here remember this is the default value this is also the default value and this is the default value let's actually make this one negative one and let's set this to 10 so we have default value default value default value all right does it make sense and if you come over here and you start playing with this you can now start getting some things so you've exposed this parameter so the user doesn't need to go over to the you know go over to your nodes and start scribbling or scraggling or doing stuff they can just have access to that here so let's define this you know to be a bit more descriptive all right test these things out for bugs it's very important you test your your stuff uh, let's set this to 0 0.9 set this other one to 0 0.9 what do we have and for the maximum let's see we have that all right so we want this to stop at the point like so 0 0.2 looks good so 0 0.2 will become the maximum point actually 0 0.2 will become the maximum point so you can have that and this is pretty lovely what else what else do you want to know what else do you want to know this other one we can now make those changes so let's quickly do those changes to the other ones but one more thing which i have uh, which i think we are not putting into perspective is the scale so what if you would like to scale the entire table for that yep i know you said transform but it's not only transform all right so if you put your transform here and you wire this to the end it looks good you know it, it doesn't look bad but you still have to deal with some things all right so let me show you if you connect this here you now have like you know scale xyz who needs that why we need to throw in our very own vector mats so it's more like uh you know this tutorial is more like len vector mats it will save your life so for that we would also use a scale because we like scaling stuff and we're also going to set this one to one by one by one have that as it is now run this scale over here so with that scale there we can now call this table scale and that's it that is exactly it so you can now package this save your file send it over to whoever that you want and they can play with the scale if they want let's zoom all the way back that's a bit too much you can play with the scale if they want like right now you can play with the scale if you want and since we've proved this thing you can also try to do some stuff and there's also something i would like to explain to you guys right now and that is the fact that if you make a copy you can still play with them you can go back here and you can make variations all right so you can make a variation of that you can also make a variation of this one so you can make multiple things so think about how much time it will cost you to just uh you know make tables and now you have a procedural table that you can tweak and do some cool stuff with for those who like to add bevels of course you can go in and add your bevel go over to your modifier throw in a bevel where is it throw in a bevel and you can throw some segments so let's make this segment of that let's reduce this about the point like so so we have something cool let's throw in that a little bit more and you want to make copies all right array the hell out of this by throwing in an array and at this point you now have multiple stuff and multiple objects that you can use so this is you know this is definitely it for those who like this i'm going to set this up and you know keep it so just in case you want it there's going to be a link in the description where you can grab it i promised you guys this file and that was the main reason why i did this video for those who would like to start working procedurally so tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks 
Tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.